Why should I join Chaz Everett as an agent? What, what makes you different? And it's a question a lot of agents and a lot of experienced agents are going to ask. In today's markets, the easiest thing in the world is for brokers and estate agencies. They're going up to them and they're saying to them, let me show you what I can give you. And what I can give you generally is an offering which is based around more commission. And a, a quality agent, even a quality new entrant, that's not the be all and end all for it. Most agents don't leave because of an increase in commission. It's an easy thing to offer. But if you're not getting anything over and above that, if you're not going to join a company, if you're doing three sales a month and your ambition is to do six sales a month, join a company that can help you to get to six sales a month. Getting an extra 10% on three sales that you're already doing. Uh, one on one's making two, where in our equation we want one on one to make four. Rather look for a company that can offer you an all round overall package. It's not just about the commission. What are the marketing tools that they have in there that are going to help me give a better offering to my clients? When I'm sitting in front of the client presenting, what have I got that can make me, give me the edge above the rest of my competition out there? And there's a lot of competition out there. The technology that supports me, is it up to date? Does it enable me? Does it make me better with my clients? It's an overall package. And our model has moved very much to almost personalizing an offering to a specific agent because every agent is not the same. Off-the-shelf packages are a thing of the past. If you're working in a market which is five to 10 million, your needs are very different to working in a market where you're having to turn over 10 units a month that's one to two million. Both of them are very distinct markets. But if you're working in the five to 10 million market, you need a different set of tools to be able to deal with the issues that you have within that marketplace. One of the things we work very hard at is building an armory and what we call an armory or a quiver and filling that with as many arrows as possible that are applicable to the market that our agents are working in. So it's not one size fits all. If we move agents into our company, we want to make sure that the model and the offering that we put together for them is going to work for them. Because we want them to be there in five years time, 10 years time, 15 years time, 20 years time. To do that, we need to be able to drill down into what that agent's needs are and show them how we're going to work with them and give them the support that they need to increase their business. I would rather see our agents doing doubling their sales and increasing their position, you know, their position in terms of 5% because in a year's time that's going to be eroded away. Give them more tools, enable them to do more sales, give them more of a life. To do that you've got to look at the individual, you can't look at the masses and this one size fits all, let me take it off the shelf because that worked for the last agent here. That approach doesn't work. Part of our broker's job and our principal's job is to make sure that they can marry what an agent needs to achieve their success to what they need in their business. But it starts with looking at the individual and finding what that person is gonna need in that particular marketplace at that particular time to achieve their goals and their objectives.